I'm sure everyone here has seen that odd mosaic image before, where an image is made up of several other images, or in this case, several hundred images. But creating one can take so long because you have to make sure that each pixel inside that image correlates to that smaller image. And handpicking each one of these images can take an extremely long time. So I'm just going to slap some code onto it and make this process automated. And to be honest, I'm sure some other people have done this already, but I'm going to make the fastest algorithm out there. Anyways, let's get started. First of all, creating an image out of several images is actually relatively simple. And that is because an image is made up of pixels, with each color of an image being a separate pixel. This is really exaggerated inside pixel art, where each pixel is exaggerated so that one color fills up several pixels. And that's why it's called pixel art, I guess. Let me just give you a quick illustration on how to create an image inside an image. Take these three pixels, for example. And then if we replace each of these pixels with an image of, say, a face. Now let's take this technique and apply it to a larger scale, to an entire image. Voila, that's it. It's quite simple, really. And that is basically how you create an image out of images in a few minutes. Well, explaining it does take a few minutes. But in reality, coding it takes forever. However, there is a slight issue with this technique. Because if you start with an image of, let's say, 10 by 10 pixels, each one of those pixels will be replaced by an even larger image. This causes the image to get exponentially larger as we increase the size of the base image. Now, I'm not going to show you the extremely long process of making the code, but after a few hours of implementing this and using a data set of faces, the result of this is somewhat surprising. Take this image we saw earlier. And voila, it is now made up of faces. Well, a face made up of faces. And it kind of resembles the image quite closely if you look at it quite far away. Now, I did experiment with increasing the sizes of the image to replace each of the pixels. And it takes long. Like if I were to replace all of the pixels by a 100 by 100 image, it would take 20 minutes for a single image. 20 minutes and the difference isn't even that noticeable and something that's actually really interesting is that each of these images are made from a possible 20,000 data set of faces which allows it to use a wide variety of colors which gives it this really crisp looking image but where is the result you might ask and since this video took forever to make and just to push watch time up here are some examples of faces made by faces. Pretty cool, right? And it doesn't even stop there because I can generate whatever I want. Dogs generated from dogs? Done. Cats generated from cats? Uh, does that count as done? I guess so. Now, here's where the things get crazy, because what if I could generate NFTs from already existing NFTs? Yeah, am I allowed to steal NFTs? But we can worry about that later. First, I need images of an NFT collection, and one that has a wide variety of colors and is actually quite big. So after scrolling around OpenSea for a minute, I picked the Board H Yacht Club as a source of my images, cause you know. Now, to get all of the images, I tried to scrape the website using JavaScript, but it was taking forever and I don't really want to go into it, since there are 10,000 apes. So instead, I found a data set online and just downloaded all one gigabyte of it. This is going to take some time, so bear with me. And while you're waiting, let me tell you about today's sponsor, me. Please hit the subscribe button and like this video before the file finishes downloading. It will really help me a lot. Anyways, back to the video. Using these images, I can now construct an NFT with several other NFTs. And it looks... Um... Weird. It's mainly because there isn't a large variety of colors inside the NFT dataset to create an image. 
But anyways, I think my job here is done, and I'll see you next time.